this what turning 50 does to you? Endless trips down memory lane? Nicholas, please, I'm not 50 yet. That's not Russian. Why, are you still taking pictures? When is this photojournalism assignment of yours going to end? It's due sometime next week. And besides, I still got a lot more questions to ask and even more pictures to take. You've back. asked me everything under the sun. There's nothing left. Testing, testing. Uh, Dad, how many times do you think you've shaved in the past 50 years? Dad, statistics are a very big part of a good essay. All right, I didn't start to strop until I was 16. Uh, strop, what, what? Strop, that's what you did when you... Never mind, you wouldn't understand. I, uh, started to shave when I was 16. That's 34 years times 365 days. Except, of course, for vacations and weekends and the times I just said the heck with it. That means that I must have shaved about... 100,000 times. <laughs> oh, Dad, Dad. 35 years times uh, 300 days is even only about 10,000. We're talking 12,000 max. Here. All right. I stand corrected. Now, how would you describe it? Uh, getting up in the years. I mean, how does it feel to be 50? It doesn't feel any different. It just sneaks up on you. I mean, I feel like I was 20 years old inside. It's just that uh, time is different. I mean, here it is, Monday morning. I turn around and all of a sudden it's Sunday night. Blink a couple of times and it's the middle of next month. Boy, I tell you, it's scary. Great. You know, Dad, your face has held up pretty well for half a century. Oh, thank heavens you haven't seen the aging portrait up in the attic. What? Never mind, you'd never understand that. Let's go. <laughs>